Today we are tackling a really cool power query challenge. Our task is to stack groups one below the other and sort them by income in descending order, with names sorted within each group. Let's dive right in. Just click on any cell in your table, go to the data tab and then click on from table range. Boom! Now to stack the groups vertically, just select all the columns with Ctrl A and choose unpivot columns. Don't forget to rename the columns here in the formula bar. I'll name the first one group and the second one name. But here is the tricky part. Because we have multiple header rows, the income data is sitting in the row below each name. To fix this, we'll need to extract that income data and bring it up to where it belongs. One common approach is to use an index column to help us refer to the needed row in the next steps. With our index column in place, we can now create a custom column to pull in the income values. Let's add a new step. We'll use the table add column function here. The first argument is the table from our previous step. And the second is the name of our new column. Let's call it income. Now comes the fun part. Writing a formula that will pull in the correct income values. Here is what we'll write. Each if added index figure bracket index plus one name greater than zero. Then let's just copy the first part of our code else null. As you can see, all the numeric values have now been pulled up into the main rows where they belong. Nice, right? With the income values now aligned with each name, it's time to clean up our data. Remove any errors that might have popped up. Then remove the index column since it's no longer needed. And lastly, remove the word group from the first column. We've completed the first part of our challenge and our data is now ready for some advanced sorting. We need to sort the groups in descending order based on the total income. Here is how to do it. Go to transform group by group by group and summarize by income. Now sort these groups by income in descending order. Right click and select drill down to make it a list. Rename the step sort order for clarity. Once sorted, create a new step and refer back to the step just before the sorting. Power Query allows us to refer to any previous step, so we are not confined to a linear sequence. Now sort by group and income again, but this time use custom sorting. In the formula bar, replace the group part of the given formula with list position of sort order group. This custom sorting ensures that our groups are sorted according to the order we defined earlier. And there you have it, we've successfully stacked our groups vertically, aligned the income data and sorted everything just the way we wanted. This challenge was a fantastic way to showcase some of the more advanced techniques in Power Query. See you in the next video.